All right, so I'm back, and today we're going to take a look at the Toy World Shovel. Um, so he came out about the same time the Mix Master came out, and I hadn't gotten the Bone Crusher from Generation Toy yet, but uh, Scrapper's always been my favorite um, of all the uh, const Constructicons. So. Um, so I had enough money to buy one of the three, so I was like, I, I've got to get, I've got to get the... <laughs> I've got to get scavenger or scrapper. Uh, so here's the uh, look at the box. Uh, you got some artwork going on on the front. Uh, some artwork on the side there. Stuff. No product images. I wish there was a product image. Uh, he comes with a gun. Now, according to the instructions, so here's the instructions here. Um, you can put the wing on the back, which I've got there. And then you can let's see where did I see that? Um, right here, it shows the gun ported into the top, but it does not plug in. Um, and then there's another plug here. Um, so these screw holes are not big enough to accommodate this gun. It just not gonna happen. So, um, so yeah, uh, we got instructions. Uh, he's a fairly simple uh, figure to transform. Plastic bag, which is hazardous to small children. So keep an eye on that. Public service announcement there, guys. All right, then it comes with this thing. Um, so it's got this uh folder uh and it's and it comes sealed uh with the string wrapped around like this so it's like you know important documents um which is pretty cool and then when you open it up you get these two big rubber pads um and it looks like it, once you peel this off it's gonna be sticky uh, nowhere in the instructions says where you're supposed to utilize these at, uh, so I don't know what to do with them yet. Um, but uh, at least I can put them in here, and they're going to be safe. And it's also, like I said, it's kind of cool. I like it. Um, I just kind of get a giggle out of that one. Uh, I got to the sticker sheet or sticker card. Um, so yeah, uh, here is the shovel in his truck mode. Um, rolls very nice, no issues whatsoever. It's got uh, big thick tires going on. Um, as you can see, you can just pull them off. Uh, but yeah, big thick rubber tires. Really good. I like it. I like this a lot. Um, there you go. And then to this piece here, can come off. It just, there's just those plugs here and here. Uh, kind of pretty similar to the G1. Uh, and then plugs here and here, and you just slot that on. Um, and then as far as the wing goes, you can articulate these back if you need to. So it's more like this. Don't know why you'd want to. Um, but then it also extends to um, so that's gonna be for the devastator chest and then it's got this hinge that comes out again I'm pretty sure this is all stuff that just attaches up to um, to hook once we get hook but uh, yeah it is there um, and then yeah to transform him uh, it's it's oh uh, articulation here he's got um, a hinge up here where it connects into the body uh, a hinge here and then a hinge at the shovel uh, so it gets a fair range of motion so let's get him transformed and then we can uh, take a look at that and then uh, later on this week uh, I'm hoping tomorrow I'll be able to sit down and do the uh, comparison video in between everybody all the scrappers that are available um, so pull the arms out just like that and then you want to come down here 
Um, this panel here, pull out, rotates to the back, and tabs in. Let's do that over here as well. Okay, so once you got that done, you can take this piece here, flip this around. Uh, it opens up like that. That will allow you to then pull this piece out and pull it off to the back, just like that. And now that everything's out of the way, you can then rotate the leg around. The toe comes forward. This piece will come down and fold in right here. And then this piece will unfold here. And then you can take this and rotates around, collapses up. And while this piece is a little, uh, it doesn't really tab in anywhere, it still gives it the appearance that the, uh, the foot is solid. And it's not like you're gonna be underneath him messing with that panel anyway. Um, then this piece here will fold around just like that and there's the leg done do the same thing over on this side um, so we want to pull this panel here out this panel up down around rotate the leg fold the foot out out, down, tabs in, slot that back, and there we have the legs done. Take the shovel here and I just, uh, you rotate this back and down, so it just kind of folds up out of the way. Uh, and then you take the shovel here and you just fold this back and then up, however you kind of want to angle it. Now with the arms, what you want to do is um, they're, they're on all sorts of hinges here. Um, so you want to pull the arm out and you can see how it's coming out and then it comes straight out. So there's um, it's kind of like a, on a hinge that folds it down and then this is also on a slider. So you slide this up and then, you, and as you can see, it doesn't really hold in very well but what you want to do is uh, hinge it back and that'll lock it into place. Now, I'm using the term lock, but it's not really a lock. It's it's very, um, I'd, I'd say it's very insecure um, connection there. Um, it, it, it does hold, does its, it does do its job of holding it, but um, just, just to let you know. So up and back. It's just hard to show in camera because of the angle. Open up this piece here this will fold down rotate the fist around close this up open down around close up and you want to open up this chest piece here flip the head up uh, again you can see it's it's pretty loose but once you get it into position it's it locks in and thus not giving you any trouble and there is shovel in his butt mode uh, you can open up his hand plug in the rifle close the fingers and you are good to go uh, looks pretty good um, I don't know if I, I, I would say I, I think he looks the best of the options, um, but he definitely looks good. Um, <coughs> sorry, I've had a pretty bad cough for the last few days. Uh, Poseability, um, we've got head swivels, it's really tight. Um, I think this is a ball joint. I know I say um a lot, some people get irritated with it, but... I don't give a shit. I really, really don't give a shit today. <laughs> um, no, I think that's a hinge. Yeah, definitely a, it's a swivel on a hinge. So, uh, shoulders rotate up and down. Wish there was a ratchet in there. 
there's a hinge here and then another hinge up here um, so you get a, a, a fair up um, I mean more than you need really uh, any further in we're talking useless so you got that there is bicep swivel right above the elbow ratcheted elbows weird that you got ratchets here but not here but whatever um, hand swivels and then each finger is on its own ball joint which um, yeah I, I'm okay with but I not my ideal not my ideal preference heads not staying in place uh, waist swivels uh, but you kind of have to move this piece here out of the way and that frees it up a lot more because when it's down obviously it just doesn't go so um, there is the skirting on the front and back nothing on the side there but the legs do swivel up as you see we've got a uh, little looseness going on there this one seems fine um, there you go out there's a thigh swivel ratcheted knee sounds like um, there's a joint here and a joint at the transformation so you can kind of cheat and get a, a little bit more of a bend uh, the foot swivels uh, it's got a rocker uh, oh this whole thing comes down all right so you got all sorts of so you got a hinge here, a hinge here, a swivel, a hinge, and then another hinge. So you've got, I, I'd call that full articulation on his foot. Uh, you just have to, you just have to find a way to make it work the way you want it to work. So that's pretty good there. Size comparisons before we grab other construct cons here. Uh, so he's definitely more masterpiece scale as as you can tell from there i'm i have again moved my collection away from masterpiece uh, i'm going more chug i just I, I don't know i just i'm not having as i wasn't as having as much fun with mp as i thought i was going to this time but anyway um here he goes with mp10 you can see some decent size there and MP car so it looks good and and bone crusher and yeah it looks good um, he looks really good with those guys uh, I, I really like him um, and then don't have the uh, make toys one in bot mode at the moment but we'll look at more in depth tomorrow anyway hopefully tomorrow uh, here he is with the generations toys here he is uh, I, I a friend of mine uh, shout out to Sammy here real quick uh, he traded my green giant or green Hercules for these guys um, the shattered glass version and quite frankly i'm loving the the color schemes on those i i really am i i think they're they're actually a lot of fun and here he is with the takara so um you know it, it, it's 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 gonna be more tomorrow but i i really like all of these i i do i think they all win in their own way but uh, again, we'll we'll look at it more in depth tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow. But um, there is your 
comparison there uh, just so you can kind of get a feel for what's going on and what's to come so so yeah and then and then at some point I'm gonna actually review each one of these guys as well because because yeah I got the whole set and like I said I'm, I'm actually really liking this set um, so shout out to Sammy for that um, I'm very happy I, I got I, I took him up on that trade offer and, and then of course I've got the extra set of guns from the perfect effect kit so these guys are getting actual guns this time around so I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep these guys or or trade them out for the green version again later on down the road but uh, so far I'm actually really liking them I'm, I'm really liking these guys so anyway uh, so yeah there you go there's uh, Toy World Scrapper um, I, I like him I recommend him um, if you're going for the big one you know you got to get him so uh, yeah we'll take a look at full comparison tomorrow